What's going on YouTube? You're watching Eclipse Entertainment Presents. I'm your host, Eric Jones. Today we're on the tech set and we're gonna be talking about the Bushnell Equinox Z. Stay tuned. The Bushnell Equinox Z 4.5 by 40. It's a night vision monocular with a field of view of 28 feet at 100 yards. It can be attached to a rifle's Picatinny rail and it can handle a 350 grain round. Not bad for a $250 night vision monocular that can be used in the daylight as well. It's packed with great features. Stay tuned for the full review. As you can see here, this is your power button. You would just hold that down and then uh, turn it on and you would hold it down and turn it off. Down below is your plus and minus signs. That's what you would zoom in and zoom out with. Uh, and just notice when you uh, zoom in all the way, it will get shaky, the image. So you might want not try to zoom in too much unless you have the tripod or some sorts. Uh, and down below that is the IR illuminator. You have three settings with that. Depending on your light situations, you would use that. And this also turns the uh, night vision to uh, day use. So you can use it in day use. So it'll be just like looking through a monocular, but you can record with. And you can switch to night vision at nighttime, which is a great, pretty good thing about this Bushnell Equinox Z. This is one of the great buying points for me. And on top of that, it's digital. So you don't have to worry about light accidentally getting into the lens and messing up the internal equipment. Uh, to the right of that is your uh, your brightest setting, uh, it has three different settings as well, uh, low, medium, and high. Just mention that light, uh, the high level settings will mess up your, uh, your quality of footage. So I would recommend keeping that on lower medium. And down below that is your record button. And the record button you do is just hold it down, make sure you have a mini SD card in the bottom. I'm gonna show you here in a set. As you can see here on the bottom, you have your TV out port right there. You just plug it in right there and you can watch it on TV. Here's your uh, USB port. This is where you get your external battery power from. Uh, you have four AA batteries in that run for three to four hours, but if those batteries die and you're still on the hunt, I like to get my Go Zero Guide 10 Plus battery pack, and I'll just plug in my uh, GoPro style cord into the USB slot, and then I get myself an additional three to four hours of battery power through this port. And then right next to it, you have the uh, micro SD card port. This is where you uh, snap your photos and save your videos. And here you have the option to switch to uh, snapping photos or you can switch it back over and just do record feed uh, for your hunts at night. All right, that being said, you can find this on Amazon for about $250. Uh, I forgot to mention that it's water resistant. It's, when it's mounted to the AR-15, it can handle a 350 grain bullet. So in my case, that's a good thing because I'm using the AR-15. So all I got to worry about is about 62 grain bullet coming out of my 1-9 twist barrel. So I won't have to worry about this uh, breaking from the recoil of my AR-15. Hey, thanks for watching Eclipse Entertainment Presents, where we bring you entertainment, news, reviews with a kick. Till next time, God bless.